Welcome back everybody, uh, live number two uh, and also the last live obviously of the day today here until probably 4.15 through the end of day inspection. Um, I didn't notice this because I was on a break uh, but we have two, that rare, very very rare example of two lady guards um, as horsemen, horsewomen, whatever you want to call them. Um, yeah, both here in front of me and at the other end, both today. Thankfully the Zoom is working again. Uh, a female. Very, very, very rare. Wonderful and, uh, and rare, but hey. But, ladies and gents, more importantly, does anybody recognize this lady on this horse? Anyone? Who could she be, I wonder? Who is this guard? Why is she famous? Yeah, yeah, it works. You know, you know who this guy is. She's the one that's screaming Karen's face in that classic video. Yeah, so, yeah. Yep, ladies and gents. No, I just, I mean, it, it was back to normal. Now. Sure. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. It is, ladies and gents. This is uh, the famous guard. I won't mention her name, but anyway, yes, this is the famous guard that day that leant forward from her horse in this exact same position, this box, uh, and screamed uh, in Karen's face. Um, Get off the reins. Remember, that video is pinned, guys, uh, to the top of the channel. It's one of the top three pinned videos. She can't hear me. I'm, I'm way, 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 way back. It looks like I'm close, but I'm super far back, so she can't hear me. Uh, she's just giving everybody the eye. You know, she's a, a work after all. But yeah, that, that is the guard. That's the lady guard that screamed in Karen's face in that video, pinned to the top of the channel. That absolute classic video. One second, everyone. In fact, it's the second most popular video ever on the channel. That video here, look. This one, remember, look. If I play it, there it is, look. Yeah, that's her. Back from leave. Finally, she's been off for a long time. The one and only. Yep, she is, uh, she is that lady god, ladies and gents. Um, Probably because of that video and what happened here, uh, not just mine, several people were making videos that day, she probably is the single most famous uh, female guard in the Blues and Royals, um, by nature of how expertly she dealt with, you know, Karen. But that's her, she's back, yeah, she was on, the, she was on a break. But now she's back and we all know 100% that she doesn't take any nonsense at all, at all, full stop. And I'm 99% certain, uh, correct me if I'm wrong guys, that she's in the video this morning of the horse misbehaving. I'm pretty sure it's her. Let's go and have a look at the other end. As I mentioned, both of the uh, boxmen, I'm reluctant, they are still called boxmen even though they're female. Boxmen, boxwomen, box ladies, uh, yeah. Very rare, in fact. It's rare enough to have two blues here at the same time, but to have two blues box women. Yep, it was the one and only. Okay, perfect. So she's now famous for the Karen video, um, and also for controlling that massive unruly horse this morning. Completely keeping her cool. Box soldier, uh, maybe, to be honest. Box people. <laughs> Yeah, I've, uh, I've met Frank and his dad a few times actually, um, and I did ask his dad afterwards if it was okay to post the video. Um, it was just a lucky moment, I happened to be standing in exactly that spot 
um, talking to Dan when uh, when Frank came over. Very cute, I must admit. Okay. Yeah. Glad I was there for that. I would have been very disappointed to have watched that um, and having not seen it. If the oh my god, don't don't scare me with comments like I, I thought Karen was back flipping. Oh no, good lord. I didn't even want to think what would happen if uh, if she did come back. I certainly wouldn't. That's for sure. Absolutely would not in any circumstances. My friend has mentioned that TikTok lives are being a bit odd. He suggested I restart it. Let's see if we get out of 300 jail, guys. If we don't, I will restart it. Uh, because we should be nice out of 300 jail by now. Easy. There we are. Wait, the second I say it, we hit 300. Or 298. Wait. Yeah, if it doesn't come off, if that total doesn't come off by the uh, 3 o'clock change, which is shortly, uh, I'll restart it after the 3 o'clock change. I'm not going to restart it now. Uh, because that change is coming up, and I also want to get the chits moving in a second as well. Let me go inside the gate. One second, everyone. There he is. Oh, I thought they were going to walk into the arches, but they didn't. Did you see him press the panic button? Um, I have, not today. But you know, sometimes when um, people make those videos, you know, a, a guard presses the panic button. Um, it's not because they panicked or anything was super seriously wrong. It's more often than not because the horse is getting a little bit crazy, um, and they want to alert the stableman to come out and help with the horse. So, for example, this morning, when the horse was misbehaving, uh, the lady guard did not push. The, uh, the panic button. Why? Because she wasn't remotely stressed. She handled that massive horse exceedingly well, as to be fair, um, the lady guards often do. That's the second time we've seen a very unruly horse basically being told by a female guard, hey, sort yourself out, I'm the boss here, uh, and then stopping the misbehavior. And we saw it a couple weeks ago, and we saw it again this morning. So yeah, the panic button, yes, of course it is for something very serious, but a few times it has been pushed by, by guards to attract the attention of, uh, of the stableman, which, you know, arguably isn't an emergency, but I understand why they need to, you know, attract the, the attention of somebody to come out and help with the horse. Uh, Dan isn't with me, Debbie. Uh, he is inside. However, and this is the good news, uh, I bought a milkshake. Yep, Dan has a milkshake. So Dan is busy drinking his milkshake and I'm busy waiting for, potentially, this chitsman uh, to start educating some very uneducated tourists. That's my goal. We will see. Okay, this is the time that uh, peasant presents get pushed back. back including Mr. Line Bike and if he's Mr. Line Bike doesn't want to listen so he's going to park his line bike exactly where the horse needs to go which is not super smart but hey like I said some of the Tories have had lobotomies before they got here why on earth you feel that like you want to sit on a bike in uh, a military yard is beyond me but hey go for it <laughs> yeah little John with his milkshake we all like in milkshakes sometimes. Oh. Luckily they got out of the way in time, in the nick of time. Lovely thing to see, right on time. Okay, lineback man's moved as well. A Flotter. I like that name. Flotter. It's a very nice name. Thank you, Flotter. Little common to London. Oh, I guess we escaped quickly from 300 jail. That was very much instantaneous, everybody. Jakob, thank you very much. Um, if anybody hasn't yet seen the two videos, 
Don't worry, you're in the right place, guys. The troopers will move all of these people that don't listen back in a minute. This is the right spot. <laughs> don't get parked there, right? Say again? Don't get parked there. I mean, they will do if they don't move, yeah. Especially when they just like come back and think they can stand right in front of you, you know what I mean? Just, yeah, kind of like just what happened. Yeah, yep, so exactly that. What is with the different coat colours? Uh, it isn't folks that they have different coat colours. It's a different regiment, and that regiment wears a different uniform. Blues and Royals are back. They're back and they're taking no nonsense from the tourists. Uh, do I know? I don't know which captain it is. I haven't seen the captain arrive yet. Yeah. Um, a lot of tourists on the wrong line. I'm hoping that a certain person will come along uh, and resolve that shortly. If not, the horse might. It isn't super busy this often. Sometimes, when it is super busy, they do, and everybody gets pushed back. Other times, they're a bit more chill. Guess we'll find out in a minute. If not, we will zoom over their heads. Really good, depending on whether he decides to take that horse into the crowd or not. Let's see. straight into the crowd. Notice that the uh, the NCO referred to the two lady guards as boxmen, despite them being boxer women. Mm. 
Okay, the uh, the nudge. It sounds like a slap. Half the toys here were like, "Ooh, wow! Why did they slap the horses?" Okay, so the horse obviously has a lot of weight on one side. Okay, that weight is the guard dismounting. Now, if the guard dismounts without letting the horse know on the opposing side to expect that extra weight for the dismount, what's going to happen? There's a chance the horse will rear. We've seen it in a, one very famous video. So they let the horse know with the slap. It's nowhere near as, as uh, bad as it sounds. Don't forget that most of the slapping the saddle, not the actual horse's flesh. Um, boom. That's what it's for. Here is our relief guard. Yeah, it's, it's not a slap. If they slap the horse super hard, occasionally it's happening. Like, Ooh. But you've probably heard the toys going, like, Ooh, what's that? Hey, Lindsay, welcome. God, we've got the zoom back people, eh? I'm super far back, but it doesn't look like it, does it? March to the camera. Hey Chrissy, welcome. Here they come. I just want to get arrested, guys, instead to Colchester. Dude is like, what the hell? Three soldiers? Of royals, indeed. I'm really particularly interested in the new gatesman. That, uh, actually, yeah, I, don't know. <laughs> I was gonna get back then. He's gonna shout us. That's why I was keeping it. He shouts at both of us. You did it on purpose, so that I'd stand there and get yeah. shouted at, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, seriously? Out of the way. Guys. I'm a little bit disappointed in the show. Yeah? yeah? Well, I mean, to be honest, most of the time today, they've got toys have been moving out of the way almost automatically. It's been surprising to see it. So, hold on a second, are these actual tourists or British people dressed well, as tourists? I'll do next time is I'll do that on your bags and you've got Hold me, I'll get up to stay and get shouted at. Okay, guys, Dan's trying to get me in trouble. Hold on a second. Oh wow! The uh, the troopers family have just turned up. His niece is here. Now that means I'm going to guess everybody. Uh, a smile is in the making. <laughs> Hiya guys! I'm really hoping he does a smile. How good is his poker face? Is it good? Yeah. Okay. Cheeky, we were hoping, Dan just said to me, we were hoping he was going to shout. Dan tried to hold me in his way so that he shouted, but no, nah, I'm not going to get in his way. Yeah, he's definitely trying not to smile. That is a poker face and a half, isn't it? There's a reason that uh, the new poker face won't last. He's he is he is desperately trying not to smile, yeah. I, I'm gonna back up a little yeah, I was just yeah, I just I just noticed that's why I knew he was gonna smile. You're the Yeah. He's got a very good poker face, hasn't he, Graham? For sure. Oh, he is trying very, very hard not to smile. Love it. Uh, Moz, if we can get rid of Nikki. Uh, bye, Nikki. Thank you for joining. It's super hard. His little niece is here on, on the right hand side. Is uh, Cat use. You're gone as well. Bye bye to you. 
mods any, anyone else being silly also gets kicked, please. Oh, Pamela, you're gone as well. There's another one gone. Right, Pamela. Goodness me. Everybody that is complaining, folks, every single one of you are getting banned. Let me explain why. I'm here with his family, you idiots. Goodbye. Mods, ban, ban anyone that is being critical. Absolute morons. Unbelievable. And that, ladies and gents, of course, is why he was smiling. His niece is here. I'm just talking to his family, his grandmother, his niece, um, and other relatives are here, etc. Yeah, it's, it's hilarious, isn't it? People actually join the chat thinking that I'm uh, here to provoke a smile. Jeez, honestly. Love it. Brilliant. Yeah, he, uh, he did then, at the end. Um, and of course he did. Hey, his family's here. Uh, no lad is not going to smile for his grand, that's a fact. I can see, don't worry. Lot, lots of the guards are exceedingly nice to, to visitors, relatives, and other people that come here. Um, he is in a very famous video. I won't mention which one, um, but there is another one that he's in where he did smile very, very broadly uh, because a very close family member was here and it was in the tunnel. It was a lovely moment, it really was. Wow, look at this beautiful family. No, my pleasure, Lisa, my pleasure. Wow, what a day of beautiful things to see, eh? It's been a, a wonderful day today already. That is, uh, is the icing on the cake. Absolutely lovely. And a real trooper there, in fact. You know, a real man would smile. As simple as that. He smiled. Love it. How does one become a guard? Hey, you join the British military. You have to be in the Blues and Royals or the lifeguards. Uh, you will then be at King's Guard when you're here on duty, um, at Horse Guards. Hey, welcome Aria, welcome folks. Yeah, lovely, lovely moment. I'll post that this evening. That was, uh, that was a super moment, in fact. Um, and his family are here still having a chat with, uh, with the Corporal of Horse. This is why I couldn't have anyone uh, giving you silly critical words, etc. He's very, very happy, of course, and I wouldn't be filming her without his, his family's, and indeed the Corporal of Horse's permission to do so. They know they're being filmed, etc., and he knows he's, uh, he's on camera, which is why I'm at a respectful distance. Um, I'm nowhere near the trooper, I'm just using the, the zoom to, to get us up close. <laughs> a knock-knock joke, which one? Like, knock-knock, who's there? Europe. No, that, that one isn't going to work. No, the Europe, Europe answer is not going to work. Exactly that, yeah. Um, exactly that. I've just thought as well, actually, one second. Don't go to double confirm with the family because I'm 99.9% .9 certain. One second. I'm just trying to think. It is, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is. 492,000 views. Oh, hold on a second. Here's a, here's a proud moment. <laughs> Love it. confirm something in a second with Dan guys and I'll go back to the front. We haven't got too much longer today with the uh, with the horses. My horse is going to smile. Come on, you know, his uh, little niece is here, etc. His grandma is here. 
it will be impossible not, I mean, however much of a poker face you may or may not have, it would be impossible uh, to not smile given that kind of a situation. It just, you know, absolutely impossible. Of course, of course, they're super proud, in fact, you know, it's a, it's a beautiful moment. They're all here together. I'm keeping a little bit of distance now, way back. Uh, he will be here for, he's just been... Um, replaced. Sorry, he just replaced one of his colleagues. Um, so he will be here between three and five o'clock. So it's a two-hour shift as uh, as the gatesman. He's the gatesman over here in the arch. But yeah, lovely thing, of course. You know, it's uh, absolutely certain he's going to smile. No, it's not Dan's family, folks. It's the guards' family. It's his little niece on the uh, on the left. Uh, and his sister. And Moz, can we get rid of Sasha, please? Bye bye, Sasha. Your husband, Jason Paul. For some reason, I've got an idea that uh, your husband isn't Jason Paul. Exactly, yeah, super proud moment. person that says their husband Brad Pitt and Janice with a question like that you don't belong in this channel goodbye Janice is gone oh, goodness me this is the important thing you know they're on duty yes it's a very serious occasion because they're at work but at the same time whenever somebody's family come along, their relatives, etc. come along. Yes, there's going to be a smile, there's going to be, you know, a wholesome, there's going to be pictures taken and so on. And of course, well, you know, it doesn't matter whether it's the, you know, the, the toughest guard in the entire regiment, of course he or she is going to smile. It's completely normal. And he is not going to get in trouble. Everything is, uh, everything is fine. It's a lovely thing to see. Yeah, I mean, absolutely proud, 100%. You know, don't forget, a lot of the time, family members live very very far away okay one friend of mine the lifeguards hasn't seen his family for five and a half years all right that's because they live on the other side of the world that's an extreme example but that sometimes um is is how bad it is and sometimes it's years before they're able to travel you know to see their loved ones it, yeah really is that yeah he's from fiji um and there are all sorts of reasons why reasons why he hasn't been able to see his fiance in that long and his and his family so you know you're restricted to video calls and uh <coughs> messaging and this kind of stuff. Uh, I do, Luna, I know a lot of them personally, which is why it really rankles uh, with me when people start giving me nonsense like, leave them alone, they're doing their job. It's like, duh, I know that. It is military life. It's a, it's a big, big hard sacrifice, but you know what? It's a brave one and it's an honorable one. Uh, and that's why a lot of these guys are very, very, very strong-minded. You know, it's a great thing. Absolutely a great thing. Um, I'm hanging around the corridor next. I want to say goodbye to uh, to his family before I go back to the front, everybody. We've got about 30 minutes with the horses anyway before the end of the inspection uh, with what will probably, in all likelihood, be a new captain. I'm thinking highly likely it will be a new captain. I am from London, yeah, English. Boom. Love it. What a great moment. Ah, now down in Swindon. Okay. I see. It makes sense to me, guys. This is why it's funny, and a lot of people that are not from military families, myself included, don't understand it. But I've grown to understand it somewhat because of how many stories I've heard from people I've spoken to in the Guards and indeed in other regiments. Uh, about how long it's been since they saw family, friends, uh, and loved ones. I get it. I really do get it, guys. Hey, Rydian, welcome.
Then he's back in. Yep, very much so. Of course, of course, yep. Yeah, I know, guys. Very nice to meet them. It was very nice to meet you guys. It's very nice to meet you. Oh, yes, I do. Um, thanks for all that you uh, no, put no, 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 on. It's, no, it's brilliant. It's, it's my pleasure. Really um, um, it's difficult. I understand them not to smile. So yeah, yeah. Well, thanks ever so much. Yeah. 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 My pleasure, my pleasure. Yeah. Yeah, his grand, uh, his nan is super, super proud. His grandma's there with, uh, with other members of his family. Of course, they're proud. Come on, it's an amazing thing. Um, especially, you know, when these guys are known the world over for being, you know, so tough, so stern-faced, etc. When they're on duty. Dan told him he can't shout at his relatives, no matter what. Even if they stand his way, he's not allowed to shout at his gran. Sorry, Sharon. Of course, big smiles. Looks funny, not as funny as you forgetting your band. Goodbye. Now we get rid of Lolita as well. Lolita, you're gone. Bye to you. Another one gone. 100%. Yeah, exactly that. 100%. Don't worry, Lolita's already gone. So many uh, clowns like saying we can't, we shouldn't film or whatever. Of course, when he's least going to, of course he's going to smile. How could he not smile? Wait, I was confused about one thing though. Hold on a second. We are talking about the same person here as. Aren't we? Thought so, yeah. That, that's a remarkable. Uh, his, his niece, his grandparents, his aunt, his, and, his, and his sister. His sister Ron, I can't remember. I think it Wait, was it, it, it was his. The small, the small girl was his oh, niece. Must be his sister. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, I don't yeah. know. I'll find out. Later. Yeah. Okay. He did. He, he held it together well. In fact, um, he, he smiled, but not. Yeah, yeah, not too you know, bad. Not, not too bad at all. Yeah. Lovely. I'll leave him in peace now. Forty minutes. Yeah. On the ladies, I'm gonna get my okay, <laughs> gonna go and strip. Okay, Dan's gonna go and get changed, everybody. Ready for the end of day. Oh, Nick! Oh, Nikki, you turned up just in time. Dan said, if Nikki joins the chat, um, I have to end live because Dan's going to get changed, Nikki. He said, I could actually give him the cam and he'll live stream while he gets changed if you want. Oh, I don't think I've actually blocked that many people with my own fingers ever in the lives. Every single person was like, ugh. Why are you I'm just unbelievable, isn't it, really? But hey, some people don't quite get the context. It'll happen at some point, Kenzie. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, I said, no, no. Oops. <laughs> a surprise there. I think the horse thought she was a plume. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> It's the red top. It's like a ball. <laughs> Sees the red. Runs towards it. Love it. <laughs> that made a jump. That really made a jump. <laughs> yep, agreed about London. It certainly is magical. Wow, I mean, we, we, got, uh, we got Dan, didn't we? meeting uh, and talking with Frank earlier I thought the day couldn't possibly hey all good yeah I thought that they couldn't possibly get any uh, any more interesting let alone wholesome than it just did it's just like what extraordinary think about how much we would have missed everybody today if uh, if I hadn't got my lazy backside out of bed works out pretty well didn't it in the end and it's not over yet yeah, remarkable to see uh, to see little Frank meeting Dan, to see that situation as well with uh, the lady guard dealing with the uh, naughty horse this morning. 
uh, and then the situation is now with. Uh, Oh, what's he screaming about? What's this, this clown screaming about something? Oh, he, he mutters something to the guard, then he continued walking. Damn it. I like it when he did stop and try and get in an argument. I'm not sure he's going to come back or not. Let's see. It's always one there, every single time. <coughs> Must be the weather, guys. Second the sun time comes out, so do the idiots. Without fail, sunshine plus warmth equals torons. I don't know, mental health. You can't really have mental health problems if you haven't got a brain to start with, can you? Let's be honest. It is sunny, actually. It's uh, rather sunny and warm today. Quite a lovely afternoon, to be fair. A little teeny weeny bit of uh, sunshine. Not as much as I would like, but we're going to have a pretty warm and, uh, and balmy end of day inspection coming up soon, people. I love the other moment. Everybody else is focusing on the other horse, uh, leaving me to focus on this horse. Why? Because this was the nippy horse earlier. There are lots of people here, but the toys are not going up close. Why? Because. It's your people getting nipped before. The horse is calm, but he, he really likes to nip at the tourists. Okay, here, here's the first brave visitor, look. <laughs> A few videos from this morning of the horse nipping. Um, the horse always bit a kid as well this morning. These horses are, are used to it, very much used to it. Um, short with blonde hair. I haven't got blonde hair and I'm not short, so you must have walked past someone else. What colour hat did the person walk, uh, was did the person have on that you walked past? There you are. That's the way we know 100% it wasn't me. Tell me which colour was the hat? Ta -da. Of course he's beautiful. Hello to you as well. It is beautiful, you're right. Black. Nope, you're wrong, yes, sir. It was someone else. Everything that's black here right now is the horse. There are five of us here today actually streaming and recording, so I walk by. I can't believe you didn't miss you missed me, you could have come and said hello. Why do they have to stay in there? Um, because Buckingham Palace, the carpets are too valuable for the horses to be stomping all over them. The type of horses, the Irish draft horses. And again, the Sul Cabello, Sagrado de Orino, you're right about that. It's easy, welcome. We time to normally start filming, there's not a regular time, it's kind of when I have the time pretty much. There's no way to predict the time of the lives is what I'm trying to say because even I don't know myself half the time. Awesome. It just sort of happens when one, I wake up at the right time and two, the weather's like it is today. But there was a lot of, yeah, a lot of funny nippy moments this morning. Okay, so the lifeguards, uh, lifeguards work different days. Okay, So for example, in one day you won't... Uh, have them swapping over constantly. You will have the changeover in the morning. So, for example, this morning the lifeguards left at 11 a.m. The Blues and Royals arrived at 11 a.m. Hence the changeover process began, the box and the chips and so uh, The next guard change um, will be tomorrow um, because at 4 o'clock is the end of day inspection. The next regimental changeover uh, will be when it happens. That will not be for some time. Um, you should, Joanne, um, if you have notifications switched on, it should give you a pop-up on your phone. I know a lot of you have had problems getting notifications, um, and there's nothing I can do about that, unfortunately, people. If, if TikTok is not giving you notifications, uh, there's not much I can do. Ah, is, wait, hold on a second. Is the video, the YouTube video with, um, with Frank already up? Wait, is it on YouTube? Hold on a second. I didn't think I'd actually put it on YouTube yet. You mean on TikTok, yeah? 
Yeah, I have uploaded it, but it's not visible on YouTube at the moment. The, the video with Frank, that was a great video. I have uploaded it and I will make it public in about an hour and a half from now, roughly. Yeah, it's yeah, it's on TikTok. I posted it earlier. I have uploaded it to YouTube, but it's not public. I will make it public later today, um, probably around about 5 p.m. 5:30. It's it's a good video. Yeah, it was a great moment, and the best thing about that wasn't so much the fact that um, he he was happy. Obviously, he was delighted to talk to Dan, but more importantly, that smile uh, on little Frank's face was absolutely priceless. And then he ran over and got a hug from his mum and dad. After that, it was yeah. Pretty, pretty unique moment actually to be honest but I, will, I will pop that on YouTube properly later guys the police that live on the horse guards are they uh, okay they're, they're MOD Debbie they're Ministry of Defence police yeah Ministry of Defence the naughty horse video um, is on TikTok and it's also on YouTube um, anyone that just likes watching the videos especially the longer several minute long plus videos I would always advise you to uh, to watch it on YouTube why because one you can watch it on your TV secondly the quality for some reason comes out so much better on YouTube I don't know what it is the algorithm is just different um, so the naughty horse video is on TikTok and on YouTube and the video with Frank um, is currently on TikTok and will be on YouTube in about an hour and a half we've also got the video coming up later of uh, the guard smiling when his family visited and I've got so much more from this morning it's just ridiculous folks uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to catch up with all of it to be honest a huge number of people here behind me right now but for some reason nobody's wanting to to go up you know in a, in a group got a few hardy souls going up yeah enjoy it Ursula. It's, it's a very wholesome video um, he actually so he little Frank actually had a a proper conversation with Dan, the corporal of horse, and the look on his face when uh, when he saluted, and then Dan saluted him back was priceless. Yep, people are allowed to touch the horse; they are absolutely allowed to touch the horse, as long as it's only the horse and not the rider or any part of the regalia. What's the age to be a guard? Okay, as far as I'm aware, the youngest guard that has been on duty here at Horse Guards is 18. Okay. Um, that will be pretty much fresh out of the first six months of the army. But the majority of them are in the early to mid-twenties. Time here, uh, half past three. Yeah, it's 3.30. 3.30. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, touching the horse because she's allowed to touch it. Look, see, she's having a little moment with the horse. We've got that. Uh, uh, in fact, I almost forgot, guys. We've got that amazing moment as well earlier on, where the uh, the Chinese lady came up several times to the horse, got scared away, and then gradually her confidence built up, and then she had a very uh, a very pleasing encounter with the horse. Hey, welcome, watching from Assisi, Anarita. I remember. Ciao. Here we have more happy tourists coming up, getting their picture with the horse. Happily, relaxingly. It's all good. And what a magnificent horse it is, eh, folks? Look. This horse, I believe, I think Dan said earlier, is Monty. No, actually, wait, I can't remember now. Wait, no, no, it's not Monty. It's, um, ah, uh, not Wombat. What was the name of it again? Damn it, I forgot. Wallace. There we go, Wallace. The other horse at this end is Monty. Oops, sorry. <laughs> is Monty. Monty plus tourist. How do you show the guard you're appreciative to? Uh, by not disturbing him or her. Yep, that's it. Okay, great. I actually finally managed to remember the horse's name, which, uh, as all of you regulars know, is akin to a minor miracle. Yeah, Monty, the majestic, magnificent Monty. It's not just that, he's got a... Uh, oh God, here we go. Wait, so this one is Wallace. Oh, everybody, the car just came out. Oops. Thank God he didn't come out of this gate, otherwise I would just got, I would have just gone owned. That would have, would have been super awkward, in fact. Like, really, really awkward. 
he's going to go for the record. Is he going to go for the record? And are the Tories going to pose with him? You're right, Monty's on the, my left with the white white markings on his face. Thank you for clarifying. At least I remember the names, and Wallace is to my right. Yep, he is Ursula. Brave enough to get up close for some reason yet. <laughs> Oopsie. Yes, he's doing his rounds. Um, he has one more round to do today at 3:45. If he goes back in before then. If not, if he manages to stay here until the bell ch uh, chimes again, he might do it. Um, he'll be very close to breaking the record. Let's see. Fine with me. He's falling down. Sorry? He's falling down. It's, it's not going, no, he's not going to fall down. He's on, he's on duty. He, he will not fall over, no way. Yes, I'm kind of said he's going to fall over. Like, nah, he's not going to fall over. I'm hoping to go to London as well one day. I'm not sure if it's going to happen. <clears throat> I need to look at flights. No, my pleasure, Chrissy. The record is roughly 15 minutes, give or take. It might not sound long, but it is, trust me. <laughs> Okay, let's go. That's an excellent idea, Rob. If you guys are up here tomorrow, let's do it. I've been pretty respectful. I've seen nobody making physical contact with the guard yet, not even close. Oh, thank you. He did good. Don't forget, he's already had a lot of distraction today. His family were here. This was the guard we were filming, Gatesman guard filming over there in the arch earlier when, uh, when his family were here. Don't forget, when you're at the front, you're fighting against nothing at all except your own mind because there's no indication of the passage of time you've got dozens of people looking at you and more importantly you don't know how long you've been standing there so for him it might have felt like 10 minutes whereas realistically it was what three probably three four it's a hard hard thing to do that is that's why i've got a lot of respect for the guy that holds the record and the horse agrees look monty agrees he's like yes you are right So it's magnificent Monty, everybody. Yeah, he's had uh, he's certainly had a good day, that's for sure. Yep, yep. the record for standing there, completely statue still. Um, is, I think it's 15 minutes and 30 seconds. I can't remember, I've got a video of it. But it's roughly, give or take, 15 minutes. And believe me, guys, my arms were, uh, were starting to flail a little bit after that from holding the the pole. So if I'm stressing about holding the pole for 15 minutes, imagine how he felt. Also, the guy that broke the record for 15 and a half minutes stood here when it was very flipping hot. He was dripping with sweat. It would take a lot to beat that record. Hell of a lot. Oh, 
think he's bought gifts for the horse. No? Oh, he chickened it. Ah, Courtney, I'm glad. Is that because you're his other half, Courtney, or...? <laughs> No, it's not. Uh, it's not. Uh, you know, there, there is obviously this moderate, friendly, you know, comradeship. So it's not really a competition as such. Um, when I, you know, talk about the record, there isn't one that exists within the regiment. It's just the longest that I've observed one of the guards standing still for. Um, but yeah, the, the guard that holds the record, I do know him, and so far, no one else has got close to break here. The previous record holder was only about a minute less. But yes, it's an unofficial record. I think of it as being like you know, an unofficial scorecard that, that I keep. But they, they know that I um, time it when, uh, when I film it. And it's, it's kind of impressive to film it because that, that mental endurance is, in some respects, um, even harder than physical endurance. Uh, Becky, come and say hi if you're next to me. Where are you hiding? Ah, oh, there. <laughs> hey, Becky. <laughs> Becky really is to my left, everybody. <laughs> uh, yep, that actually is a real viewer. He's really here. <laughs> One second, more happy tourists. Everybody looks up at Monty, they're just like, hold on a second, do you know what? He's so big. Yeah. To be honest guys, half the time I try not to stand too close to this horse because all the ladies looking at him thinking, yeah, he's so big. I get very jealous, so I might have to go to the other end in a minute. I don't like being intimidated by a horse. Best place to eat over here? Oh, that's a good question. Anywhere that serves food, pretty much. Oi, saludos from Ecuador. Box coin, box coins for idiots. What's a good common British meal? Uh, chicken vindaloo. Also, in fact, uh, horse curry is very popular here as well. Here in, here in London, a lot of people eat that. Oh, hey, hola, I'm watching from Peru. Okay, let's get rid of Hydra. Bye bye, Hydra. See ya. Has a child ever been yelled at? Yes. Um, one of our illustrious, glorious moderators um, was in the arches one day and a naughty child wandered in and he had to say to that child, get out of the arches. And the child screamed. How long sit a guard on his horse? One hour. Yeah, just an hour. Hey, welcome to from Iowa. Okay, you stand here all day and watch Monty quite literally. Such a beautiful horse. Great temperament as well. Until he gets into nippy mode. Look, see that? He does have nippy moments. Very well trained, 100%. Now. <laughs> Can you put notes in their boots? Uh, yes, 500 euro notes are accepted. The guys accept 500 euro notes, everybody. Oh, here's another Monty. Waking up, London! Waking up, London! 
Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is coming soon. It's time for everyone to repent. Come to God for forgiveness. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and follow Jesus and get to heaven. Don't end up in hell, friends. God loves you. Uh, dude. Jesus Christ, the Savior, is coming in judgment. The Savior is coming, friends. It is time for you to understand the judgment of God is coming soon. Christ died for our sins. Hallelujah! He rose from the dead. Hallelujah! He's coming back in judgment. It is time for London to repent. It is time for you and I to repent to God. Believe on Jesus Christ. Don't go to hell. Don't go to hell. God loves you. God loves you. Don't go to hell. God bless you, sir, up there. God bless you, young man. Jesus loves you, my friend. He loves you very much, young man. Monty is feeding the love, everybody. Jesus is coming. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus, the Son of God. It's coming soon. God bless you all. God bless you. God bless your family. Loving this new Zoom out feature here on the. Uh, on TikTok. God bless you. God bless you, John. Hi, boss. All good? Yes, God bless you, my brother. You too, Kenny. Good man. Oh, see what I mean about the nippy horse? Monty's very cheeky sometimes. Cheeky, nippy Monty. Bing bong. Damn, it's really all happened today, hasn't it? That's for sure. Yeah, he does. He's uh, he's a very respectful gent, Kenny. Let's not get into the religious questions, guys. You know, we all have our own beliefs, etc. We're not saying he's right. We're not saying he's wrong. We're just saying that he's entitled to his opinion. Love his voice, though. Kenny's voice is amazing. It's actually pretty busy here. It may not look like it, but it is pretty busy for... Uh, a Friday afternoon. Oh wow, lots of people watching from Ecuador and Peru. Welcome all of you Spanish speakers from glorious, beautiful Latin America. Even the horse says hi. Horse says hi to everybody in Peru. Look, Monty's saying hi Peruvians. And he's also saying, oh, he twitched his ear as well for, uh, for anyone watching from the Philippines. Do you know what the teddy is and why she's filming the teddy's bomb? Teddy. Which teddy is that? <laughs> which, which teddy is it? Uh, it's my teddy bear. Ah, Topa. Like, uh, Topa is called. Oh, where, where are you from? Mexico. Ah, wow. So you pulled a bear all the way from Mexico yeah. to London? Yeah. He's tall with me all the time. So he's, he's good luck for you? Yeah. yeah? Okay. Wow. Bye bye bear. <laughs> uh, very cute. What a day, eh, folks? Wow. So the bear travelled with the lady there all the way from Mexico. That was a Mexican teddy bear. Everybody's like, let's get out of the way. It's cute, a lot of people do bring teddies here actually. Uh, that lady from Mexico is definitely blessed anyway, she'll need a teddy. Uh, the, that is the plan, Ursula. It's supposed to be, starting tomorrow, we're supposed to have a mini heat wave of a week or so. Now, I'm hoping that is the case um, and it stays super hot starting tomorrow. A panda bear from China. If I ever go to China, I'm going to try and bring a real panda bear back with me in my suitcase. Baby one. They do indeed take very, very good care of their horses. I'm worried about that. 100%. Yeah. I'll go inside shortly. Captain time coming up. God. How the hell did 
get your head knocked loose then. What the? Got to be some sort of Brazilian model week or something in London, I think. Crazy. I think you should stop for a picture with a horse. Wait, can we go and get her and ask her? <laughs> oh, goodness me. Wow. The sights and sounds of central London, eh? On a sunny day. Hey, welcome, new people. Everyone that is uh, 29. Oh, my God. It's too so hot. 29 in London is like 45 anywhere else. It really is ridiculously hot for London, in fact. If it hits anywhere near 30, I'm going to cry, guys. One of you will need to come down with a wet flannel. Oh, we do indeed, Sharon. Yeah, uh, speaking of which, uh, I'm in discussions with the lady from the day a few days ago uh, about appearing on the lives. So that's uh, to be confirmed. Thumbs up. No, the horse, I mean, some, some loud noises, it depends on the nature of the noise. Sometimes loud noises, fireworks, that kind of stuff, does freak the horse out, okay? They're not completely immune to noise. Large crowds of people screaming and shouting all sorts of nonsense also freak the horses out. However, these horses are much less sensitive to unexpected noise than a typical horse, for obvious reasons. I'm working at a jail, I've poked a water bottle, the cops all looked, wait, what? Chris, I think you're talking rubbish, and this is a non-rubbish channel, uh, so goodbye to you. Chris has decided to leave us. Hi, Chris. Oh, wait, this dude is putting his stuff down, rolling his sleeves up. Looks like he's going to have a boxing match with the horse. He's like, I'll tell you what, Mr. Horsey, do not, do not mess with me. Who's going to win? This dude or the horse? Oh, I think the horse has outstared him. Yeah, he's like, you try instead to his daughter. You be careful that straw, the horse is going to want to suck your milkshake. Mm, I wouldn't say big shouts, Raptor. We did have a couple of, uh, of reprimands. It's been a different kind of day today. It's been a very wholesome day. An exceedingly wholesome day, actually. Family moments. Lady girl controlling the horse. There he goes. Look, see, nippy little monty. Being cheeky again. See that? He's trying to nip. That's why people are a little bit jittery when they get near to the horse. These horses feed themselves, guys. They're self feeding horses. Yeah, we're very close to the end of the day. Self feeding horses. What I mean by that? I mean, they love tourists. He's safe, welcome. See, look. He's playful, but he was very nippy this morning. Here we go. Hello. Thank you very much. You've got to take one. It's nine this. minutes. <laughs> Guys, at the end of the day, I will be inside very soon. Yeah, nine minutes. I'll post a video later this evening when um, when Monty tried to nip the baby. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Very cheeky Thank you. this one. He's so big that um, he can basically do what he wants. Nippy, nipping Monty. I so. got myself inside, everybody. There's uh, a new chap here, a new YouTuber, or I don't know, whatever. Anyway, he's uh, helped himself to my regular spot, and that's okay. Because you know what? It is what it is. First come, first served, and all that, people. Am I right? Boom. I'm actually starting to think that my previous regular spot was not the best spot. It's 
to repeat on loop, in which case you're getting banned again. Bye bye. Imagine being as uh, as dense as BKLYM. There's IQ and there's minus IQ. Extraordinary, isn't it, really? I already got rid of him, Nikki. Thank you, though. He got double blocked. Always current here. I mean, every single day, pretty much. It's relentless. The main thing, people, and the reason I'm in a good mood today, is because, one, we saw a lot of wholesome moments. Two, more importantly, the zoom works. And it works really well. Look, we can go all that way in to people throwing the stones out of their shoes, for example, on the floor. We've got horse cars littering the floor with stones. Or people walking through with caps. And they're stopping and saying, my goodness me, where am I? I don't recognise this place, Mummy. She's like, oh darling, it's okay. This is where they keep the horses. Don't be scared. He's like, okay, Mummy, if you come with me, let's go and have a look. And we can zip all the way out, look. We're so far out that I might as well be standing at the Channel Tunnel. Look at this. They've gone from mild zoom to mega zoom. Crazy, you know, folks. I mean, the, the level of zoom has gone from insanely bad to just plain insane. But isn't it crazy though? TikTok have done something. I mean, I think they've overdone it to be honest. I can actually zoom even further back now than my own camera does. If I switch to my normal camera, it doesn't go this far back. It's completely ridiculous, look. Extraordinary. I mean, I'm not complaining, but it's, it's pretty ridiculous, isn't it? Let's be honest, folks. Yep. Zooming hell is what I thought to myself when I first saw that. Yeah, me too, Nikki, to be honest. I did badge them all week about that, and I was really not looking forward to starting life today with no Zoom, so thank God they fixed it. Oh, it looks like all of you lovely ladies and gents really enjoyed the little Frank video with Dan. That was a bit of wholesomeness. Looks like it's a mile long. Christina, you sound exactly like my ex-girlfriend. That's amazing. Thank you, though, for the compliment. Guys, just to confirm, Christina and I have not met yet, so but Christina, I appreciate the sentiment, it's very thoughtful. You're gonna make my headache wait, not yeah, you know, yeah, gonna make my head expand. My head is gonna to get too big now after that. We can even zoom in on the lovely trooper who's taking down the chain. There we are. We can count the hairs in his nostrils. Do you live inside the palace? I don't live inside the palace, uh, I live on the roof of the palace typically. Yeah, they wouldn't have me inside because I refuse to take off my shoes. Hey, ciao, watching from Italia. And they're still living in the past. Daniel? Goodbye. I haven't seen the captain, um, interesting enough, so I don't know which captain it is. Lifeguard, non-lifeguard. I also have no clue, um, male or female, no clue at all about anything to be honest. However, if we remember everybody, the lovely trooper that had those memories with his family, um, he is shortly going to need to come out of the arches. Now what does that mean? It means there's a, a distinct possibility, unless his officers uh, tell everybody to move, that he will scream in someone's face. And they're not allowed to scream the usual thing here anymore. Oh, look at this. See, this tourist clown just got told off. They're not allowed to uh, to scream the usuals. They've uh, been upgraded. And they now have to scream, make way for the King's Guard. You're going to hear it shortly. Wait for it, everybody. Go a little bit more street, down-to-earth version for the youth generation. Oh, 
won't happen guys. Too many uh, gaps. There we are, look. Didn't the officer just salute to the boy in guard caution? He did. And the officer, non-commissioned officer, Corporal Force, that um, saluted the boy will be out shortly. Corporal Force, yeah. He will be here shortly and he will be right here on the line in front of us in the next two minutes. Perhaps even less, we will see. Oh, here we go. This is why we love the zoom. Lovely done with the two, two ladies at the end. Inspection of horse guards. And just a moment, the captain will emerge from those doors. I've seen this guy before, he looked very, very serious though. He is... Blues and Royals. He is a captain in the Blues and Royals. I don't recognise him, guys. I don't know him, um, but he is a captain in the Blues and Royals. I can see that from his trousers. He does, actually. The person that mentioned that he looks a bit like a maroon. That was my first thought. He really does. I think it's mainly the haircut, to be honest. End of day inspection, folks. This is really live. No, it's not live. I recorded this in 1974. I didn't see actually. I'm pretty sure he would have uh, arrived by chauffeur driven car or walked it. I didn't hear or see the horse come through. Very curious to hear the, uh, the captain's verbal commands. Oh, thank you, Shane. Captain is going to smash it, I know he will. Peter! 
Ohio. Quick, out! Oh, my God! Goodness me. Guys, I think I need to end the live and go home and change my pants after that. Good lord. That was extraordinary. I don't get too close in case he breaks the camera with his voice. Shaking the like, oh my god, I hope he doesn't shout at me like that. Uh, Mish, uh, I, I didn't discuss that kind of thing on the live anyway, so it wouldn't really help if he, if he came out or not. So it's definitely a captain, anyway. I see the three, uh, three pips. <clears throat> the horses are shaking, they're terrified. It is, it's a new captain, guys, new Blues and World captain. Tell the NCO that the horses look splendid. Okay, off we go. Get ready for it, guys. focus on the captain, I forgot there were horses there. Oh, where's the horse going? Stop pushing the horse back. <laughs> Start screaming at the tourists. Speaking of which, ah, it was so close, ladies and gents, yet so far. What a pity. What a lovely event. Hey, folks, what do we think of that? Oh, everybody has just burst into applause. Damn it, guys, who told them I was here? Oh, damn, I can't believe it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. That's a beautiful thing. Where? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh goodness me! There's uh, an after after party in the box today, like a rave box party they call it here. Look, everybody that walks through the box, guys, gets uh, gets a medal. 